Hello guys and welcome to Sev Talk, my monthly podcast. I am Severine Tamborero, professional tennis coach, author, and a creative thinker. On this podcast, we will be talking about life, sports, business, and much more with my very special guests. Join me every month at GoChevy.com or on my Facebook page for the second season of Sev Talk. Hello everyone and welcome to season two of Sev Talk. Already season two. I wish all of you health and success for 2020. It is a new decade for all of us, and aren't we all the same? In the new year, we all want to start something new. Most of us make New Year's resolutions, adjusting our goals, or even finding new ones. But what does it mean to have new goals? Why are we rarely able to achieve them by the end of the year? Setting goals is not easy. You know, sometimes they motivate us, sometimes we are discouraged because we don't achieve them. It is never a straight road. There are always challenges, hurdles, and outside influences that we have no control over that will prevent us from achieving what we want. To have goals is like having a map. It helps you navigate towards your destination, but different roads can get you to where you want to go. Some people will take 40 minutes, others two hours. It depends on traffic and the weather and other stuff that is not always easy to anticipate. When that happens, you adjust, or I should say ways will readjust your itinerary. Sometimes goals are imposed. You work for a company that has year-end goals. You may even receive bonuses related to them. If you don't make your numbers, in most cases, there are consequences. Whether the goals are coming from you or impose, it's all about how you react to it and why you are doing it. You need intention and purpose, and that will bring commitment and motivation. The only way you are going to succeed is if the motivation comes from you, and if you do it all without any regrets. In the end, You get what you give. It needs to come from you. I like to say that there are three types of goals. The process, the outcome, and the performance goals. The one type that you can control is the process. It is the how. It also means planning for the future. There are no goals without planning. Planning helps to focus and prioritize. I know that this is not easy to do because we live in an era of being in the present. Also, being afraid not to achieve our goals sometimes prevent us from having one. So to guide you, here are five principal keys to help you reach your goals. First, commit to it. Be determined to reach it. Do everything with intention. Second, have clarity. You know what is required and the outcome is a further source of motivation. Be clear on what you want to achieve and how. Third, challenging. Goals need to be attainable but also beyond your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself. Fourth, task difficulty. The time set to achieve the goals should be realistic. Tasks need to be aligned with the skills. Be aware of what you can and can't do and be honest with the time you want to commit to it. Finally, feedback. Goal setting is more effective in the presence of immediate feedback. It allows you to adjust or tweak them. Likewise, when you miss a street or there is traffic, it offers a new way to get where you want to go. So to conclude, you need intention and purpose. And as my friends would say, you need to be consistent, committed, and disciplined. Build a schedule and create time. Write your goals down. Have two to three goals max. Revisit them and see if they make sense. Be positive about your goals. Start with some short-term goals and share them with friends or coworkers. You never know. They could help you achieve what you want and could be the ones that will give you the feedback that you need. No matter what your goals are this year, you can do this. You could have things come your way that you did not plan. 
that will be unexpected, obstacles that will delay your goals. If this is the case, like it was for me last year, just revise your goals, stay strong and positive. I hope you enjoyed this month's podcast and that you downloaded the Stingray Music app. For this podcast, I have chosen a song from Pink called Courage. Sometimes leaving the past behind and creating new goals needs a bit of courage. Go to coachsevy.com in the media section and share your experience, your questions and comments. Thank you guys for listening and being part of the Sev Talk community again this year. Until next time, Sev's out.